this recording that we're seeing. So that's going with the screen. So that's got that. We can go with that top shot. Have another back from that? Live? Stream to Facebook? Any stream to Facebook? I may as well give it a try. Uh, do you change it to your three years Facebook login and see if it's been good for Facebook. It's recording, it is recording. Have you done that? Well, we're recording, but we're not like, it's not like our stream. We did a, we did a pre sign Give me a nod if it goes. We're going to go post it. We're doing the top for now. I'll, I'll let you know when we're in.
Apologies for the uh, technical issues we've had today, but um, welcome everybody that's joining us on the legal recording on Facebook now. Um, from St. Benedict's School in Ealing, we're only a London side out. They're playing Team BU Essex in the Volleyball England Super League. Um, kind of a must win game for both teams. Both teams not had the greatest starts of the season so far. And at the moment, the score, we have a 5 4 lead for Wessex. The strong serve from Leah Bright from Polonia. And a free ball. That's a 6-4 lead for Wessex, uh, with Marina Belly coming back to serve. She's been relatively strong at the beginning of this game so far. A strong block from Wessex in the middle there. That's Thea Goodenkauf. That's a 7-4 lead to Wessex. Another good serve. And the free ball for Wessex coming. Out to Vicky Palmer with a free hit, out to four. Put it away to go into the first technical timeout at 8 4 to Wessex. Teams come back onto court with Wessex leading 8 4. Marina Belly going back to serve for Wessex. That's a strong serve. And another free ball for Wessex to put away again. The 9 4 lead. There's a lot of free balls coming in from Polonia to give Essex, uh, Wessex a, uh, basically a free ball into the setter. We've seen Vicky Palmer's up for this one today. And strong serving takes it to 10-4. That's a timeout, timeout called by Lias Soller, the Polonia side-out coach. But his team losing 10-4 at the moment. You've got to say that the Wessex team's come out pretty strong to start off with. In a game that really they must win if they want to sort of keep their place at the fifth in the table. Belly serving again. It's another strong serve. This time it's just gone out. This Polonia point at 5 10. Good time out by Leas Sola. Put pressure on a server, comes back in and serves the ball out. It's Angelique Sergei serving for Polonia. Thea Goodenkauf, yet again, coming through the middle. Putting Wessex 11-5 up in his first set. Yeah. 
It's a great hit there coming off the block from uh, Dugu. Yetkin Can. Yet yeah, I've got Frankie Moore with me at the moment and she's uh, helping me with the pronunciation of that. And that ball's landed in on the serve. <laughs> Wessex are complaining, but Kanika Young has put a ball straight down there. Bring the scores back to 7 11. Wessex setter. Uh, Polonia not able to pick the ball up. We're now pushing 12 7 to Wessex. It's a fantastic hit there. That's Laura Knopica. Yeah, Frankie's helping me out again. <laughs> Great middle hit. I think if we can get this ball into the setter and get the middles working, Polonia can really get into this game. It's a great serve. It's a great serve. Another point. That's 9 12. Really come back into the game, Polonia, after that technical timeout. That's oh, a great set from Constanza Rossi. Really good, great ball in. Just said, if we can get the ball into the setter, get the middles working, then we can open up this block. A relatively new team for Polonia, with last year's players now missing. Lias has got a whole re rebuilding job to do, but it's going in the right direction, just so the results start coming now. It's 13 10 to Wessex. Wessex setter Taylor Garner going back to serve. Wessex move closer to the technical timeout of 15 10, and it's still Taylor Garner serving. American setter. Another good strong serve. Great hit from Leah Bright. A great block. Oh. Referees called a touch on the net. So Wessex gained a point even though we had a fantastic block there. So 16 10 to the second technical timeout. What are your thoughts, Frankie? Um, Polonia still haven't settled yet. Too many uh, free balls? Too many free balls and mistakes on the free ball, like putting it too tight to the net, for example. Just keep it off the net for the sisters. Just you're not going to win this set and win the match. Just play, play your way into the match, keep it off the net, and then work our way forward. You need to put pressure on the uh, Wessex defence when it is a free ball. Put it at the back of the court a little bit further. The moment just going in the middle of the court, and it's giving Wessex a real easy option to just mm. get the ball in, and they've got three hitters there. All three hitters are actually firing at the moment, so it's going to be a difficult game for Plogia to turn this round. But we live in hope. Yes, and also tighten up the block, I think. <laughs> The, the hits um, the hits has uh, been hitting through the block in the middle of the block and so Polonia need to tighten up their block tighten up the defence full stop Another 
service error after a timeout. Obviously, the technical timeout this time, but uh, obviously, the pressure of the first uh, back on court has got to her. Good service, I think. This is a free ball. Come on, free ball. Deal with it. With it now. Another good touch on that from the block in the middle. Nice. Great. Play. That was good play. That was really great good play. Great hit work. from Leah Blight. Playing for opposite. Only 17. The student. Place for England Juniors. England Junior player, apparently. Thank you, Frankie, for helping me that. <laughs> <laughs> Bit trivia. Here we go. Right, free ball for Polonia. What can we do? That'll work. Let's, uh, get the ball in to Constanza Rossi. The middle player can do the rest for you. Andy Jones having a chat, the Wessex uh, head coach. Trying to regroup his team. 16 13 to Wessex at the moment. Unfortunate service error there from the Polonia captain. Wessex goes 17 13. Good set. And the net foul called on Wessex. Another good hit from Leah Blight. Definitely coming into the game with her left arm there. She is. She's the first proper game back since her injury. She injured herself in Nevza right. in I think, one of the first games. She um, tore some ligaments in her hand. But now she's back the first full game. She's doing well, I'm happy. Yeah, she's flown out the back of the court there. You can definitely see that Leah's got uh, some quality. She had left arm. She's got some power behind it. Let's see if we can get her into the game a lot. Angelique Sergei trying to get around the block, but when the block is the size of these two at the moment, <laughs> you've basically got to, uh, you've got to do something with it. Thea Goodenkauf and Marina Belli. That's a huge block. This nice serve. Well. Everyone was a part in the Red Sea again with that serve. Nice serve right into the corner by Wessex. Another point to Wessex. 2014. Ooh, there's a substitution. That's Lorena for. Angie. So Angelique Sergei is taking a break. Lorena Merzan has come on. So she can do something to. Unfortunate. No, there's no touch. Referee's not seen a touch. No one's seen a touch from that. So Wessex go to a 21 14 lead. As Lias. No. Oh, that's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Leah Soller's gone, actually, you've got for a timeout. The referee, second referee, Peter Parsons, has called it. In the same time, the first referee has blown for the serve. The player side walking off, the Wessex player served it, and then he's called for rotation error. In theory, let's see a let on that, please. That can't be a point, surely. The players were ready to come off because the referee called for a timeout. You can't do that. Should be much of a conversation, should be back on court already. Well done. There we go. I didn't even change the scores the other one there. Common sense confident. prevails, Frankie, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you, no, you've called a timeout now, well done. <laughs> okay, we're back to where we should have been about a minute and a half ago. <laughs> With Wessex leading 2014, both timeouts taken by Leo Soller. I'd say at the moment, the, the Polonia team have moments of brilliance mm -hmm. but it doesn't seem to be consistent at the moment whilst Wessex are basically just picking the ball up and serving hard it's a game that Wessex need to win um, in theory with uh, Sheffield coming up against Birmingham very soon to give both teams three wins and then going into a game between Sheffield and Wessex to see who possibly come fifth in the league now with that it means that obviously Polonia will be in the bottom four means that uh, the Christmas break they go into uh, a four-team pool 
uh, with uh, Bristol, uh, Birmingham and either Sheffield or Wessex to see who gets the relegation place. Well made from Leo Bright there. <laughs> Not really coming off the net far enough to get her approach right, but off a one foot take off, you've got to touch off the block. Bring Polonia back into it, 15 21 down. It's a great set. Nice set, lovely set. Gary Bernhardt, the American setter, Shane, number five. Right. Who's this? this <laughs> the Wessex moved to a 22 23 15 lead with Marina Valley serving. Certainly been a strong player opposite for Wessex in this set. Really needs one of the Colonial players to step up now. And that's another, another good serve, putting pressure on the Polonia pass. The pass not coming into the setter, and the uh, set's taken by West at 25-15. Back here for the second set in Polonia, side out London, and Team BU Wessex. Wessex taking the first set, 25-15. You gotta say it's a big ask now for Polonia to really sort of get back in, well, get into this game. We've got a change of Libro. We got uh, Venus Coda Balandlu. She's come in for Mayor Wright. And really helped move these names, are they? Let's see if she can show up the first pass and get the ball in here. Strong serve. Ball's come in. 
Good hit, man, the reach over. One nil to Polonia. It's a good way to start the set. <laughs> Leah Sola getting animated on the sideline, trying to push his team forward. That's a cracking serve. Ball hit out. In West Six, there's another point. A 20-year-old opposite Italian, Marina Belli. Strong in the first set, come out and hit the ball out. First opportunity in the second set. Another good serve from Laura. From a good set and a good finish by Wessex. Take it to 1 2. It's Helen Farr hitting through the middle there. One of Denise Austin's students from the Beach Academy in Croyd. She moved down to Bournemouth for studying. There's another junior, Leah Blight, coming in with a great left-handed hit cross-court, bringing the game to three run to Polonia. It's nice that she's come back from her injury and she's just taken a one set to get into this game and she's scoring points, isn't she, Ian? Yeah, she's doing really well. Very happy. Difficult because Angie Serge was there by herself on that block. Yeah. Kanika should have caught up with her. I'm not sure what happened there. How come the middle didn't join her when she was by herself? The problem is with this front court that Wessex have got, it's so strong, it's so tall. You know, just to win a point around that block is going to take a lot. Angelique's up against it today, but hopefully she will pull off some shots. Let's just put it back to three all. Serve. That's a fantastic set from Constanza Rossi. <laughs> Problem there is Constanza's setting the ball way over at four. And then the ball's coming back so quickly. Vicky Palmer's got a free hit through four there. Didn't really get time to get a block up at all. Scores level at four. All. Mayor Wright comes in as Libro. Angelique Sergey goes back to serve. Be nice to get a little lead in the second set. That's good serve. Yeah, Lias is pulling that ball out. With I saw it in by about a foot and a half. <laughs> Lions was called that right. Wessex leading 5-4. Overpass there from uh, Leah Blight. Not really giving Dugu yet to a good chance for that. 6 4 Wessex. Hit off the block from Vicky Palmer. Sandra Rossi's gonna have to try and do something with this. We go to the first technical timeout in the second set, 8 4, save the first set.
you've got to say that when the pass is actually coming in, only a look at its really strong attacking force. Unfortunately, when the ball's coming in and it's being set from four or five by Constanza Rossi, we're struggling to actually put an effective hit away, which then gives Wessex a chance to uh, attack. Their trans transitional play from Wessex is strong enough to do that, and the hitters they've got it's good enough to do that. Back on court in the second set. Wessex leading 8 4, and it's uh, Marina Belly going back to serve. We need plumbing to start turning this around now. Okay. So you get a reasonable ball in, you get a good set, you get a good hit, you win a point. It's not rocket science, is it, Frankie? No, it isn't, Ian. It certainly isn't, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Big set spike, I think that's what they call it. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. Three touches, away you go, done deal. Oh. With such an amount of new players coming into the Polonia side, it does take time to gel. Until Pete Parsons obviously got an issue now. Okay, for all the people viewing at the moment, basically he wants the Libro <laughs> to uh, switch off in a backcourt, <laughs> not in a frontcourt. That's uh, worth stopping the game for, I believe. No criticism there from me. <laughs> Another good ball in. Super good pick up from Angelique Sergei. And a great set. Oh! <laughs> Laura Knopeka. Uh, won't say she put everything behind that, but it won a point and that'll do. If she meant it, she's a genius. <laughs> Absolutely. You teach her that one, Frankie, in training. Turn that hand in. Once she sees those hands, you're going to try and put it off the block, and she's done that. Yeah. She, they need to turn that those hands in to make sure the ball goes back into the court. Leah, Leah's right really hand needs to, to turn. It. That's a good ball in. Let's do something with it. That's a good step. Oh. Unfortunately, just hit out there. Polonius captain. That's fine, and it's a timeout from Leah Sola, playing his side out's coach, and it's 12-6 for Wessex in the second set. Game's kind of creeping away from Polonia now. Really need to start getting the first pass into the setter. Got the firepower, Frankie, mm. haven't they? Got the firepower, but also the transition balls need to be better. Then you, yep. you get a free ball in, put it from the setter. Or if it's a bit, if you're stretched, then don't try and do something, you know, crazy with it. Just put it into the middle of the court. Play it over and make it their problem. Don't Absolutely. create problems on your side side of the court. The Wessex are serving hard. That's the thing. Yeah, they're you know they're, 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 they are serving. The beach players normally do serve well, and they've got well two very very talented beach players in the team. One playing Libro, obviously not serving Jess Brimson. The thing in this league, you're going to get tough servers. You know, Absolutely. that's standard in this league now. Can't be a surprise. And they are actually putting pressure on the Colonia Libro, Mayor Wright. <laughs> the problem here is where the two Polonia middle players are so worried about the four and the two players. And they're neglecting the middle block a little bit. 
And when the ball does come Which in, which was Wessex a nice ball, that's hit. right. As in, that's flown out. Right? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Just gone out there. Frankie's watching a different game. <laughs> Dugu Yet King John. Dugu Yet King John. <laughs> Sneaky little second ball over from Taylor Garner. And she's done a few, and so I mean it's not a surprise now. It shouldn't be a surprise. She's done about what third time she's done that. So the previous club was Benedictine Someone needs to College. Say, right, it's not here, was mind. it? Pardon? The previous club was Benedictine College. That wasn't here, was it? <laughs> Let's say Benedict today, I'm sure it's not the same place. <laughs> Leah Soller looking to make a change. Okay. Basically want to make the change straight away. Yes. Lorena Merzan coming in. For the Polonia captain, Dugu Yetkinkan. Yetkin John. King John. John. King John. In. Like King John. <laughs> Yeah, King John. That's the one. All right, okay. It's a fantastic ball in. We go to the second technical timeout. I think most people have missed that. Fantastic ball in, great set. Unfortunately, the Wessex blocks was just standing there waiting for it. Mm. You need to them. go through the, the other side, Laura. You know, it's there. You need to go to the left. individual talent this blown new team definitely they're all there it's just getting them all together and bringing them together as a, a full-on team and then we'll get reap the rewards of having a good squad saying that Wessex have got new players they're missing players now you know players that are coming to their squad so you know they're rebuilding but Polonia I think we, we, we've got to find a way to get this team playing together more Leah Sola taking a whole minute. Oh no. Okay, we're back in here at 16 7. We're 16 in the second set. That's a great shot from Leah Blight. Oh. oh no. <laughs> How did that happen? Absolutely brilliant block from Laura Kanifika. And then the ball being picked up by Wessex, he just drifted over to the other side of the court where no one's waiting. Well, they're covering like they ought to be. They're covering the block like they ought to be. Simple as aren't they? It wasn't a block, though. <laughs> no, oh, Wessex, oh, yeah, they, yeah, they were covering their own yeah. block. Sandra Rossi with a fantastic one-handed pick up there. But unfortunately, no one else can get to her. We just need a bigger haul, Ian, I think. Need a bigger haul, mate. Would have got that. You would have got it in your day, wouldn't you? Yep. <laughs> Working the nose for that ball. It's another relatively free ball there. What's oh, it's called a net foul. Did she... Block that? What happened there? How come she's so. She'd have been nowhere near the net. I can't think oh, well. of what he's called there. I didn't think they moved on the net at all. No. But anyway. Laura Konepka. Back to sir. Konepechka. <laughs> Just call her Laura. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness out, for that. No touch. <laughs> no touch. Well Went left on out. That. Say well left. Well left. <laughs> Absolutely. You planned that. Not sure she meant to leave that, but uh, ball drifted out for another point to Polonia. Now 9 18. Out. That service error goes to 19 9. It's quite warm in this 
um, hall as well. So the balls, balls are flying. Around. They need to take a step back. Yeah, definitely in. I just say it's floating, floating away from us. In the words of Simon Golding, we get into the business end of this uh, match now. Of this set. With Wessex leading 20 to 9. Lias has definitely got some work to do. Mm. The only real difference between the two teams at the moment is uh, Wessex have got another win against Bristol. The only other team they've beaten so far is Birmingham, which has put them up the table. I see with Polonia beating Birmingham as well. Mm. The only game they didn't win was the Bristol game that got a set. So in theory, we're looking at Polonia in the last four places in the league when we train around and the new look Super League. Whilst Wessex will definitely be trying to push into the top five. Another good service down the line. 21-9. Polonia now. He scores at 10 to 21. That's a good serve. Middle's on though. Great pick up. Good. <laughs> oh. Come there. on, let's get this point. Let's get right, this point. Right, here we go. Here we go. Go. Do something with it now. That's great. Hit Did something it. on the way down. Hey. That is a fantastic well point for you to win. <laughs> That's commitment to actually following a player and helping each other out. That's what we need to see more of. And then you never know. It happens more often. Points will come. Points win. Prizes. That and a few more other things need to happen more from Ian, yeah, I think. Get them working together, yeah. get them working for each other is the most nice important serve. thing. Nice serve, lovely serve. Right, it's coming over there. This is a free ball. There's nothing free other than a free ball. No. <laughs> the free man block waiting for that there. It was, yeah. Very Sorry, impressive. Free lady block. We still call it a three man block. <laughs> Old school in. Are we? Okay. It's free ball. Free ball. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Great. And it's Sergey just wiping off the opposite player for Wessex there, Marina Belly. Bring the scores to 12 22. Now, she comes back to serve. And let's get this serve in. Take your time. You've got eight seconds. Out. No. <laughs> I thought that was a touch. I thought it was a touch, yeah. Why can't we have slow motion and free free? What's going on? It would take about two days to find it. Roll that back, roll that back. <laughs> Definitely a touch on that. 23 12 to Wessex. Another wide right pocket block. Marina Merzan wiping off there. Only another point, 13 23. Kanika Young coming back to serve. Kanika's normally got a steady and good serve. She's one of our strongest servers. Frankie obviously doesn't watch football. That was nearly a Kevin Keegan moment with David Batty then, I'm sorry. Do you remember that game? No. <laughs> Why? Right, this is a free ball. This is a free ball. Come on, people. One by one, one by one. 14, 23. Take the time. The balls are flying. No, Take your time. Try. That looked quite deep. And so, 
last serve looked quite long, didn't it? I thought. I'm just admiring her shoes, to be honest. They're amazing <laughs> shoes. <laughs> As I said, baby batty moment, frankly. Baby batty moment, Ian. Uh, it was uh, well cut. Baby Batty taking a penalty. Kevin Keegan was asked, will he score? He said, of course he will. He didn't. I said, England Kanika. went out of the World Cup. No, I said Kanika's going to serve in, and she did. She served yeah, well in. I know. Yeah, that, well, that was just moment. before. That's a great set. Right, free ball. Let's do it again. Just go again. Again. With Lorena. Very intelligent. Very intelligent play. The Polonia four hitters are starting to win points. Basically, the Wessex block is not doing what it was doing in the no, first No, and set. Lorena is 1 metre 71 centimetres. And so she's feeling very smart against a very tall block. Yeah, no. See, That's well, it. you can't block with your elbows, can you? <laughs> That's a good set. Good man. Great pick up. Nice. Come on, girls, score it, score it, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's 25-15 to Wessex in the second set. And see if Poloni can turn it around and take it to five sets. There's moments there where you say, yes, they can. You know, it's the same scoreline as the first set, the same problems they had in the first set but also the same good stuff in the first set. But now the four hitters are starting to win points. Mm -hmm. You never know. Should I do the other? Facebook link to a YouTube, haven't you? She's asking for the link to you. Facebook. You've done a you've done a link to a Facebook. Would you've done a link anyway? You've sent the link on the on the Facebook. I was having this Facebook with a car in room, isn't it? The link is is working. Isn't it? The link was working. moving into the third set now the Super League ladies fixture Andy Jones is giving me the eye <laughs> one of the few coaches in the country he can sit on the bench and swing his legs <laughs> sorry Andy <laughs> and not touch the floor <laughs> brings back the memories of John Nash on the Mallory bench years ago <laughs> This place hasn't changed at all, has it? We've got new lighting at St Benedict's, so you can notice, yeah. you know, you'll actually see now, we've got more lights. More lights at St Ben's. Yeah, that's the only thing that's changed, really. The 14 years since my last visit, frankly. 14 wow, years. long ago? Yeah. Am I that old? No, no, no. no. So here we go with the first serve of the third set. Wessex take the first point. And that's a free ball. She didn't jump off for that hit. And so all down to just pick that ball up. Simple, really. It's, uh, Come on, guys. Set like Taylor Garner these back sort of things. Another strong serve. It's a good ball in from Angelique Sergio. And a great hit. Fantastic hit. Oh. 
Lorena Mezan's come on and she's absolutely just just hitting for fun at the moment. She's finding places and finding fingers. And she's winning points, which is what Polonia need. It's a good serve. It's a great hit from Leah Bright. Really got to say well done from Sandra Rossi for that set. Good ball in, great set, good hit. We win the point again, three touches. Hmm. Funny enough. Oh. So Polonia leading 2-1 in the third set. That's a good serve. Put Jess Grinsman right under pressure there. So ball comes back with a free ball again though. We'll oh, never like those ones too near the net. Oh, gone in. Just crept in. Scored a two all. Shari Bernhardt serving number five. American post grad student. Played in the uh, Division One NCAA for four years in Indiana. Good addition for Andy Jones in his West 16. It's a strong serve from Laura. And a great block from Leah Blight. More of the same. Another strong serve. Middle's on though. Okay, it's a free ball. And Hella Carr comes up through the middle for Wessex to win the point. She comes back to serve. 3-4 down on the third set. That's a good ball in. Good. Pick it up. Go long, go long, go. Okay. Block out. Another point for Polonia. A good surf from there, right? Well done, well done, Leah. Come on, girls. Good pick up. Right. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Second referee's called. Uh, the net, wouldn't she, when she. So um, the players come under one. the net. You called her for coming under the net there. Marina Belly serving for Wessex. Oh. Sorry, quite slight delay on the referee calling two touches there. Yeah, will he won't he? I think I would probably agree with him on that one. Yeah. Got to set the standard. Not being a difficult game for referee, really. Another strong serve. As Wessex move into a 6-5 lead. <laughs> That's a service ace there oh, from Marina sir. Belly. That's all come from a strong serve again where ball's not come in to Constanza Rossi. Unfortunate error. 
Come at 8 5 in the third set after the technical timeout. Wessex leading by two sets to love. Come strong serve, but a great, great block from Constanza Rossi there. That's Vicky Palmer. Another has got her hands on there again. Service ace, Marina Belly, taking a score to 10 5 to Wessex. work from Polonia there and the Sergei is hitting a lot of the balls cross court where Jess Grimson's just eating them up at the moment I think uh, Leah Sola wants to get something out of this he might want to try turning her down the line a few times taking Taylor Garner on the Wessex setter it's a great serve the point there Polonia at 7-10 uh, Angelique Sergei serving again. Again, it's a strong serve. It's a good ball in from, from Wesley. And that's a ball hit out by Vicky Palmer, which brings the game to 8 10. Maloney just uh, trailing at the moment in this third set. Oh, this is a free ball. There we go. So it's eleven eight to Wessex with Vicky Palm serving. A good ball in for Mayor Wright. It's a ball hit out, so it's a point for Polonia, 9 11. You can understand why Kanika is trying to do other things with the ball with that kind of block in front of her. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you look at this and you see Thea Gunkalf, and uh, she's but got one hell of a block jumps on her. high. And so. It's possible for her to get over that block. Absolutely to... huge block. <laughs> Lorena Merzen did at 171, got over that block. She went down the line, Frankie. I said that a minute ago. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Told her to go after Taylor. Line, go after Taylor Garner. Don't go in the middle. Go down the line, you'll win a point. 
This is a free ball. This is a free ball. That's better. Right, okay. Okay, no middle. <sighs> That's Shari Bernhardt again. Right, let's hold him here. He needs to get this ball straight back, really. Don't want him pulling away again. You gotta say with a new look Wessex seed from last year. You now this this time last year this game would be a three nil, three nil blown all the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they were both both last year, but you look at this now and the new look Wessex players, but mix them with the experience that you've got with the likes of Jess Grimson and Vicky Palmer. You know, they've got players around them and allowing them these youngsters to play. It's great. But we just But we need Polonia now to step up. Needs to stop the, the serve here. They need to stop it here. Okay. Lias has taken a timeout. And then Lias Sola pulls his first timeout out of the bag for the third set. With Polonia trailing by 10 to 14. Unlucky. Laura's That's trying to find her angles. That's no, really unfortunate from Laura. Yeah. Going over the final angles was just a bit long. Couldn't have been that long. Well, she turned away from the middle block, which was good. But, uh... <laughs> Not quite sure why the uh, Wessex set has come away celebrating a the block there. <laughs> I think that went to the bottom of the net, to be honest. But uh, right. we'll she give her a moment. Anyway, I think, we'll let so her I have a moment. <laughs> You know. <laughs> we go into the <laughs> second technical timeout of the uh, third set. playing now at 16-10 to Essex in the third set. Good pick up from Angelique Sergei, but of course here, slight overpass on that pick up. And that gives Shari Bernhardt a hit on the net to take the game into 17-10 in the third set. Wessex leading by two sets to nil. Great hit. Good of Polonia supporter to get out of the way of the ball there. <laughs> Obviously allowing Wessex to get a clear run at the ball. <laughs> Another point for Polonia. A great block from Laura. A free ball for Polonia, come on.
It's 18 11. Wessex leading. Leah Blake being substituted off for uh, Duga Yetkin John. Got it right. First name right now. Three Dugan. sets it took me. I got it right eventually. <laughs> Comes in and wins her first point. In, they've got the opportunity every time, you know. And, and Constanza Rossi's coming in, she's got a fantastic pair of hands. It's just the ball's not finding her all the time. No, no. Putting a lot of pressure on our four hitters, especially with a block the Wessex have got. You got Thea Goodenough at 183. And you got Marina Belly at 178. I reckon she might have grown since she gave those figures, though. <laughs> I think she's a little bit more than that now. <laughs> so as we move into the final stage of this third set, 22-12, Leah Sola pulls his second timeout out of the bag. Words of wisdom from Leah. Hopefully he can come back on court and turn something around here. Shari Bernhardt serving for Wessex. <laughs> it's a great block. That came out of her hand in my opinion. Yeah, I think the carry should have been called a little bit earlier than that when Shari Bernhardt picked the ball up off that block. That was a carrying? Yeah. yeah. I would have called it. <laughs> and again, set, first referee can't see it from here, so didn't sound right, did it? That takes us to match point to Wessex. Great offering from Polonia. Good ball in from Angelique Sergei there. From Sandra off, he's found Laura Knepica. She put the ball away. 13-24. You've got to think that... Uh, Vicky Palmer finishing the game off for Wessex. 25-13 in the third set. There's talent in the Polonia team, there's definitely strong players there, it's just bringing them together and, you know, knowing each other a little bit more and, uh, you know, coming up against a strong Wessex team there. You know, the, the, especially the block at two from number 15, 
Marina Belly. There you go, Theo Gooden, half. She very, very strong in the middle. But Polonia, you know, Constanza Rossi. She's got a fantastic pair of hands. Once she gets to know her hitters a little bit more, then the results may come a different way. But Polonia have now got a look at the bottom half of the season. They go into a four-team league, four league after Christmas, where they really want to be, you know, putting themselves in the mix to come at least sixth or seventh. Whilst Wessex move on to play Sheffield in a must-win game in a couple of weeks to give them the uh, all-important fifth place. With Sheffield playing Birmingham uh, in the next few weeks as well, you'd expect Sheffield to win that, which put them both on three wins. So it's. Um, Winner takes all, really, between uh, Sheffield and Wessex in a couple of weeks' time. Okay, we're at uh, the end of this game now. We're a free win, convincing win for Wessex against Polonia. Side out. I'm here with Rick Squires, assistant coach of Polonia. How you feeling about that, Rick? Um, I'm a bit like uh, disappointed to be honest, because I know that we can play a lot better than that. And, um, basically, we just we was outplayed. It's as simple as that, really. It's a strong Wessex team. We've been saying that, especially the, the number 15 and uh, number six in the middle. That's a massive block. Put a lot of pressure on the four hitters for Polonia. How are they going to change this round now though because obviously the players they've got they're all talented players but it's just bringing them all together yeah i just think you know it's a, it's a new team um but i think we we do have the talent like you say um it's just going to take a little bit we have to work harder in training it's as simple as that you know, it's good to see leah blight back playing after an injury uh yeah obviously absolutely. got a lot of talent there got a really good left arm and hopefully she can bring a bit more into the team now and absolutely get some more um, she's nearly 100 percent fit so hopefully in the next um, next game she'll be you know fully fit again so that's that's uh, that's something to uh, look forward to and that's maybe a positive after today so we have a tough game against tendering coming up we've kind of well, resigned ourselves to the bottom four uh, after Christmas obviously it's a four team league what can they do within that period you know what's Lee has got up his sleeves that he can actually work on I think communication and you know win the the free ball's coming over to Wessex uh, every yeah, time. Definitely. Um, I think what we need to do is, is work as a team um, because today we were individuals and um, when we work as a team, we know we can do it. You know, we've, we did it against uh, in flashes against uh, uh, Sheffield and Bristol and teams like that. So, um, yes, we'll be in the bottom four league now, if you like. And the, the aim is to finish top of that, basically. And let's not forget we have a uh, quarter-final of a cup um, after Christmas. Absolutely, yeah. Well, let's see how that goes. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Chan. Thank you.